All right, uh, quick video on installing cruise control on an XE. Um, this is an aftermarket one. Um, so the controller module, um, what I've done, I've sat it up here. Um, if I can find it, it's only temporary sitting up there at the moment. Right, so that's the controller module, that's the model I've used. Um, so I've just got the wiring sitting up there temporarily, just, just because um, I'm gonna sort out the wiring at the end. But before I put everything away, I thought I'd do a quick video on it. So that's basically very simple. The plug goes in there. Um, the instructions are really quite simple, honestly. They're straightforward. Um, you just got a positive and negative. Very simple um, power. What I've done, I've run that into the um, that compartment in there. And I've just jumped off the same um, accessories power as the radio. So where the radio power goes, you just jump straight off that and uh, run the wires in. So you can run the wires in up around the back up in there. Very, very simple to get to, not difficult. Um, so your positive and negative goes up in there and you join up into the radio, like I said. Um, then you've got the other cables, which is the um, brake. So that's the brake one. Um, so the brake one, you just go up into your brake switch. Um, so you'll see up here, that's the setup up there. So you've got the brown wire that comes into your brake switch. So you've got the, the one with two wires on one side. That's your positive and the other one is your negative. Okay. So you know, one side needs to be constant 12 volt. The other side's just oh, as in negative as in earth. So you'll see there's two terminals that need to go in there. There's those snap terminals. So they just go squeeze, squeeze with a screwdriver and then you click the lid over the top of them. So they're basically just jumping off the existing wiring. So then they go back into the main module um, through there. So then you've got the other wires, which are the red and the white. Um, so that one goes off um, into the engine bay area. And then you've got another all black wire, which goes off in the engine bay area as well. So I'll get to them in a second. Um, so then the other one is the controller module. So the controller module's got a little joiner on it. So you'll see it from the, uh, uh, when you get them delivered, it'll only have that end on it. It won't have this end. This will be a free plug. So then what you do is once you've got it located and you pull the cables through, so basically there's your controller there. You gotta feed the cables down, 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 out, out and under. And hence that's why they've got it like that because trying to fit that thing through a small gap is not going to work. So once you've got it fed through, you just use those wires. It's all very straightforward where they go. There's labelling there on the on the thing. So yeah. So once that goes there, what I'm doing, I'm 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 just going to put that just basically there. Um, once I get around the switch, I'm just going to locate it there or probably upside down like that. Like that. Or I might even make it a bit less discreet. Might be under there, depending on what I feel like doing. Either way, it's just going to be held on with Velcro. I'm not going to screw it on or anything. Um, because it, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, so there's those wires there. You'll see them. They're, they're very clearly marked. The plug only goes one way. So there's those ones. Um, so you'll see there the two active and uh, positive and negative that goes up into the um, obviously power and uh, earth. So that again, like I said, radio. Just use a radio wire. Very simple, straightforward. So to get um, then, you, like I said, those two before, those two there, they need to go off into the engine bay. So through the firewall and off they go. Depending on whether you got a manual or automatic will depend on how you go to the next step. Um, I've just used the old, um, where the uh, manual um, clutch um, master cylinder sits. So that's just what I've used. I've used a grommet, which was already there, and I've just used um, two grommets, one on each side, and I've just fed them through there. So you can see I've taped it up. That one's there, the, uh, that's the other wire. So you've got the black one, which goes off to your transmission, as in down, down to your tail shaft. And that one there, which is the malt, uh, the three core red, white, blue or something. 
no, no, red, white, and something else. Anyway, two calls. So they shoot off. Now, I've just fed them into the existing loom. So that just shoots off into the loom. Travels around, la, la, la. Goes down and under, and that's where I've mounted it, underneath the battery tray. That seemed to be the easiest place to mount the vacuum actuator. I'm just going to go under there so you can sort of see what it looks like. So that's the easiest place I could find to put it, um, just because that way you just mount it straight to the mounts on the battery. Uh, battery tray, you just use a couple of clamps and they just clamp on there very, very straightforward. So to run the... Um, I just had to take the air cleaner off. Um, so then you've got your... Sorry, I'm going to stay slow down a little bit. So you've got your vacuum line and your wire. So you can sort of see, there's your wire and you've got a vacuum line underneath there. So what I did, I run the vacuum line and the wire back up, back up, back up, and then just looped them into the existing loom and take, retaped it off and then they just fed around. So um, the vacuum line, all I did is I jumped straight off the biggest vacuum source I could find and that's the brake booster. So apparently these do need a bit of vacuum to overcome the throttle spring. Um, so yeah, so I've just looped that straight into the uh, tee off onto the brake booster line. Considering whenever you use cruise control, you generally don't use brakes. It's it's not going to affect it at all. So it's not like you use you know you use this model of type of cruise control putting around town like you do in modern cars. Um, so there's no dramas with using that. So like I said, in there you've got your line as well as your brake. So that's where the wiring comes back out of the, uh, as well as the vacuum line. And that's where it comes out and then goes off into the gland. So stepping back to the actuator setup now. Um, so the actuator's got the throttle cable coming out of it. So which is, you'll see it on the end. Um, there's your, that goes off to your throttle linkage. So all I've done, I've just run that up and then joined it up to the existing throttle, throttle cable and just run it all the way around. Following, following, following. Um, oh, I've still got to get that clipped on yet. So, so then you've got a mount set up like that. So that just mounts the existing throttle cable and uh, that comes with the kit. And then you just tie those two together and there's a bolt underneath it. And then that just goes off into and joins up to the existing um, throttle cable. So there's a little screw there um, and that just joins up. So I'm gonna leave that little bit there now until I get it all tested and on the road and all that. So I might need to do some minor adjustments. So they say leave three to five mil. Um, you can see that's not come off. That The reason that comes off because this is the wrong size. I've got a new one on order. So this car's not a driver yet. So don't stress, it's not like it's going to come off while I'm on the road. Um, so yeah, there's, these come at a different size. So that one's original Holly, it's the wrong size. Anyway, so yeah, so they just bolt straight, push a screw straight onto the existing throttle cable. And you can sort of see there's a couple of mils of, um, of uh, flexibility there. So about three to three mil, they said. So that's easy, that's just bolts straight up, very simple, simple install on this end. So, going back to the transmission now, ah, uh, oh, bloody, the, the one that needs to go to the tail shaft. So I've just fed that through following the same loom as the um, transmission loom. So you see the transmission loom going down, I just follow that all the way down and under to the, under the car. Um, Right, so then you've got to mount your bracket down under here. Uh, you see the bracket? There she is. So there's a bracket, you just drill two holes, and there's your little magnetic thing. Um, and I'm just going to go up under here. Hope that you can see that. I don't know if you can or not. Oh, there she is, yeah. So there's your little magnet. So you got your magnet on that, and then you've got your um, uh, pickup signal device. So that 
that there needs to be three to five mil apart. Um, now they say put it as close as the transmission as you can, but you've got the transmission mount there, transmission there, and that's where it's mounted. So it's as close as I could practically get it. It sits in there nicely. Um, it's easy to drill in, a couple of little holes. The, they mount right underneath the seat so you don't see them. And just do a bit of gel paint on there first to make sure the anti-rust paint. So there's the cable, you just secure it all the way back. Back, back, back. And um, that goes on there. So if anyone's wondering, this is a cable shifter set up on an FMX. So that just goes back. Okay. And that's the setup down underneath the car. Very simple. Pretty quick to do. Out and that's what it looks like on top like I said that's straight underneath the seat there's the seat mounts so you won't even see that it's gone it's vanished um, so other than that that's the install there's not much more to it um, that's the way I've done it so that's the way it is yeah uh, so then you just connect it up and then in the manual it tells you how to do a couple of tests on it uh, to make sure it's powered make sure the brake picks up make sure you and there's a little red light but don't, that's in the manual it tells you how to do that so 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 simple anyway that's the setup thank you